Okay, we're here today at a beautiful cottage on Mackin Island. We have two identical window boxes, same size, same amount of soil, same plants, and we are going to have a speed planting competition. 2015, Jack and Jill going up the hill. So, <clears throat> um, we've got a huge array and mix of flowers here. My handicap is that I have to say what they are as we're putting them in and how big they're gonna get and why it's planted that way. Um, major variety and mix of flowers here. So these are planted to kind of look like a, a complete um, garden, a complete mixed garden. There's tons of different stuff in here. Fragrant stuff and flowy stuff and lots of different colors. They're quite a kaleidoscope. So um, Jill knows uh, where everything's going and what everything's uh, supposed to look like. And so the boxes should look pretty much the same. And so whoever is the fastest and makes it look the best, win, win. Go! <laughs> okay, we're starting with these Magellan zinnias. They get pretty tall. They get uh, uh, about two feet in height. And I'm planting them in a zigzag sort of pattern toward the middle here by twos. And that allows me to put these boldly geraniums in the pockets that are created by those zinnias. And again, you'll notice that I'm not pinching the roots at all because that's where all the feeder roots are and stuff, the real fine little roots um, that are developed in the early growing process. So I don't like to pinch them at all. I'm just putting them right in. So we've got our central kind of bouquet down there. Then, after that, we're gonna, uh, I've got a little, couple more zinnias I'm gonna weave in here, into the center. The zinnias will get about two feet tall, so nice height in the middle here. And then everything else after that, is kind of real flowy. We've got this dark night lobularia, nice purple. I'm gonna space out on the edge, along the rail here. Okay. Four of those. And then I'm gonna do the white super bells and zig those around on the edge here. And I've got five of those to work with. One, two, three, four, five. It's another super bell, nice hot pink color, which I think is totally a neutral color in my book. That fuchsia or hot pink is going to look stunning. Nasturtium, which is an awesome edible flower, is going to be very flowy. These are a little small right now, but they get huge. So I'm going to weave those in toward the edge as well. Zigzag them around. We each have six of those. Snow Princess is a great flowing white, smaller flower, but a little bit fragrant. We just have three of those. That's going to explode out of there. And we've got this Nemesia. Beautiful mango Nemesia. Going to kind of mound up in the middle there. And the orange will play really cool with those purple zinnias. Those rose purple zinnias and mound up in the middle. And then I've got uh, some more super tunias and super bells that will kind of round out this rest of the end planting here, this verbena, burgundy verbena, also a bit trailing, which I'm gonna stagger in, because I just have three of those. Hops, hops vine, way cool. Gonna be huge. We're gonna allow that to trail. It's usually a, uh, a climbing vine but we're gonna let it just sort of spill out of here. I'm gonna weave four of those into here. That's yours now. <laughs> Citronella, or lemoncello rather, new supertunia, new yellow supertunia, which is way cool. And Campfire Fireburst is a new Biden that is also gonna be bushy and kind of orangey yellow. So we have a 
I was saying, a major, just fun kaleidoscope of color going on in here. I've got verbena still. Those last couple going in. Spreading those throughout. And my last super tunia. <laughs> Fluff up the soil. And that is a beautiful window box. Winner!